With CSI's introduction of Fargo ratings to the world, players everywhere are now rated on the same scale. Let's see some of the exciting ways in which this impacts the USA Pool League. In the USA Pool League eight-ball match format, the winner of an individual game earns 14 points, and the loser earns one point for each pocketed ball. This part of the scoring stays the same. In a match, players play multiple games, adding up the points, and the winner is the player who reaches his or her play to number first. That's a number that is higher for a higher-rated player. This stays the same as well. In the old way, players play to the same play to number regardless of the opponent. This changes. So here's the old way. The plumber on the left is one of the strongest players in town. He's a 125. The businesswoman is an intermediate player. She's a 68. And the chill guy on the right, he's a weak or newer player. He's a 33. So when the plumber plays the businesswoman, he goes to 125. She goes to 68. When the plumber plays the chill guy, plumber goes to 125. Chill guy goes to 33. These might both be fair matchups in the sense that either player has about an equal chance of winning either match. But there's a mathematical problem with this approach. If the first two matches are fair in the sense that either player has an equal chance of winning the match, it is not possible to choose three numbers such that this third match is fair as well. You might be tempted to try to fix this problem like this, but you would just be robbing Peter to pay Paul. Here's another problem. When two strong players play, they play a fairly long match. When two weak players play, they play a fairly short match. It's reasonable to have stronger players play longer matches, but this difference is too large. A third problem is, what if a professional or a monster-level player moves to town who really needs to go to 200 for a fair match against the plumber who's already a good local player? You don't want anybody going to 200 because that's way too long a match. So you give up on the idea of fair matchups at the higher end. How does the introduction of Fargo ratings to the USA Pool League address these three issues? First, recognize that USA Pool League players no longer carry around a play to number. You're not a 125. You're not a 47. Instead, every USAPL player, like every other pool player, has a Fargo rating. So the plumber's now a 632, the businesswoman's a 425, and the chill guy's a 302. And we can generate fair matchups between any of these players. Like that. So these are mathematically determined fair matchups in the sense that either player is equally likely to win a match. But where do these matchups come from? Well, you can consult a simple chart on the wall, or more likely, you can plug your names or your Fargo ratings into a simple mobile application. Now, when two strong players play, they can play a reasonable length match. And when two weak players play, they can play a reasonable length match as well. And when the plumber plays the monster player, they can play a fair match. In fact, everybody in the system can play a fair match using Fargo ratings. So in summary, for the USA Pool League eight ball match format, in the old way, each player always played to the same play to number. In the new way, each player has a Fargo rating, and matchups are determined by consulting a chart or a simple mobile application.